Hello everybody and welcome back to another map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Providence Profonde. Uh, this map can be found over at modhoster.com and there will be a link in the description below. Uh, basically when you download this map you'll need to unzip what you download and in that zip file you will find the map itself plus the soy milk farm facility and the farm silo system a map or a mod also there. Uh, those mods are already in the map, uh, so if you don't put those in your mod folder, you'll be missing out. So I do just go ahead and encourage you to put all three of those mods in your mod folder. Uh, you'll also find photos to explain and examples to place the straw recovery add-on. Well, that is interesting. There are fields with lavender are only deco for optical reasons, so they're... Lavender fields are not farmable. Uh, the map has 27 fields of all sizes, four owned, four with missions, three meadows, um, three cell points, two farms. Chop straw mod is integrated into the map. Uh, dairy farm with corresponding triggers, walking out the cows in the stable. And then are all the other standard Farm Sim 17 features. Uh, optional mods would include the Cote Universal Pack, Stop Milk Sale, and the Chop Straw mod to take advantage of the Chop Straw textures and everything that's already in the map. He says this map is not Seasons Ready and will not be syn synonymous because I have used, for reasons, a vegetation variety in addition to the trees from Farm Sim 15, um, trees from, oh, sorry, trees from Farm Sim 17 and trees from Farm Sim 15. So if you do put seasons in, uh, some trees will not change with the seasons, but uh, heck, you know, you can probably get over that if you really want to play the map. Um, so let's go ahead and jump on in. Let's take out the um, DLCs. And you'll see that uh, we've got the Farm Silo System mod, Soy Milk, and the map itself. Let's go ahead and bring up the log. Uh, so you've got, uh, we've got another mod that did come with the map. Uh, it's it's not showing up to be selectable because it says it has um, in in unacceptable characters, basically in the file name. So let me show you that error right here is the bottom line error, invalid file name. Uh, it's using characters that are not allowed. So I'm not really sure what that mod is to uh, is to bring. Other than that, uh, the log comes up error free. So let's go ahead and take a look at the map itself. So as you can see, the map is kind of a, it's a small map uh, with half of the uh, map basically just being the title slide. Let's do a little scroll work here so we can bring it up a little better. And let's go ahead and take a look and see which fields we own. Uh, it looks like we start by owning field 30, which is grass, field 23, 28, 24, 25, 14, which is another grass field, and 29, which is the third grass field. We have our standard crops on the map. Uh, excluding sugarcane isn't even listed here. That's rather interesting because uh, on other maps, We've seen sugarcane listed here, so that's that's kind of an interesting deal. Why sugarcane is not listed, but anyway, right? We've got we started this video on hard mode, and even on hard mode, we have crops in the silo. Got some pretty decent prices working here. See, we've got sugarcane here, but we didn't have sugarcane over on the other one. That's kind of interesting. So we've got a fairly large list of starting equipment, all fairly new, nothing is leased. Let's go ahead and take out a loan. Alrighty. And you'll see we already own 12 sheep, 12 pigs, and 16 cows. Uh, and we also already have some grass and water in the sheep area, some food, but no water or straw in the pig area, and we have some grass, hay, and power food in the, in the cow area, 
but no water or straw also. We also have a silo that has a capacity of 800,000 liters, and there's already eight eggs to be picked up. All right, let's roll this time back down to real time. And let's take a look at our starting equipment. So we start with four tractors that range in horsepower from 130 all the way up to 210 horsepower. We have ourselves a front loader arms, a bucket, and a bale spike. We've got the small New Holland 5.90 harvester with a grain header. Uh, we have the grain trailer, or the header trailer. And we've got a couple small tippers, the Brantner and the Agriliner. And then we've got the three-point hitch cultivator, plow, pretty decent seeder for starting equipment. We've got the large spreader, fertilized spreader. We've got our slurry sprayer, or spreader. And then we've got an assortment of weights, side mower, the front mower, our tether, our wind rower, and our forage wagon. And we've got ourselves a water trailer a greenhouse, the farm silo system, and the soy milk facility, all owned from the start. Let's go ahead and piece up our gator endeavor. And I will say, guys, that I've got a little bit of a, uh, a struggle going on. I've got uh, something going on with, uh, I think, the sinuses and everything in general. So I'm trying to uh, to not cough on um, on mic for you, and uh, if I do, I'm going to try to uh, mute that out. But if something does make its way into the video, I am deeply, deeply sorry. I did not uh, intend coughing fit. That will also kind of explain why, if all of a sudden the mic goes dead uh, for a few seconds, it's probably because I've muted the mic. Uh, to uh, to get that, and I just uh, did not bother to edit out that little bit of a little bit of video clip. So here we are. We've got our sh our cow barn. Uh, here you can see one of our feed troughs is here. And I think what I was showing was that these gates don't seem to have a collision on them. They did not seem to open when I clicked on them. They also don't have a collision on them bales are just decoration bales they're not like uh, bales that have been placed that you can use well, I feel worry about these guys having uh, having just just barbed wire as a fence between the cows in their backyard gate okay, down here let's just check and see if this one is operatable oh this one is also not operatable it doesn't have collisions so here we have our slurry and our manure, the cows. Got a nice um, steamy animation going on there. Got some of our starting equipment over here. For our tractors and our implements and our weights are up there. Let's take a look here. This appears to be the silo where you tip in here where the potatoes are and the pipe here where you fill out. Here we have a pile of manure and liquid slurry for our pigs. And back here you saw the brief uh, clipped of a uh, customized point for the um, for the farm and here is your pig area here you have the feed trough and the water trough was yep right here is the water trough again I wish these gates had collisions and everything on them because it's a little bit of a a little bit of an immersion break when you just drive through a gate. All 
All right, let's go down here and check out the lower level. Here's the greenhouse. We've got it's a placeable greenhouse. We've got a water fill point in our water trailer. Seed fill points and fertilizer fill points here, and we've got our mowers. Let's see if this door opens. Nope. We've got ourselves, here's our mower equipment. Across the way here, we've got a little bit of storage. Sheep are right here. This is where your wool spawn point is is your sheep feed trough. Water trough is, let's see, right around the corner here. Water trough, and there's our sheepy sheeps. And our chickens, where are our chickens? Here they are. I hear them. There's our chickens. And something that we missed was the silage bunkers for our cows. Here they are. Let's go ahead and check our triggers and they come up. There we are. Then we've got a large area here um, that you can use for possibly placing down other structures, should you so wish. And a pretty nice uh, little patch of grass there to be used. All right, let's uh, take a look at the map and figure out where the store is and where our gator might be. So here's the shop. There's the gator. Let's go ahead and hit reset. Figure out where it goes. Sets down here. This area, there's some equipment down there, so that must be a second farm. Let's go ahead and jump down there and explore that area. All right, so that's the reset point right there for you. And you'll see here is our farm silo, uh, the placeable mod. If you're not familiar with this mod, this is how it works. You need to open the door the right mouse button. Once you open the door, you'll be able to come over here and tip in grain all you want. Now when you want to, let's go ahead and close the door. Now when you want to actually take out of the farm silo, you have to walk over here to the control panel and right click to turn it on. And you'll notice when you turn it on, this pipe rotates out. There it goes. Off and on. And now you'll be able to fill You'll see down here we don't have anything in the silo so this is showing zero capacity at the moment and here's where the rest of our farm starting equipment is our cultivator plow and cedar our harvester header and header trailer dipper two of our tractors another customized point all right Seed fill point and fertilizer fill point. Let's go ahead and zoom on out here real good. Kind of give a look around. So there is our animal buy area right next to the farm. This is kind of the arable farm. All the fields around this particular farm we do not own. All right, let's go ahead and I uh, <clears throat> guess we'll start with the uh, animal buy point and work our way around the map. So we have our animal buy point and I suspect right here is the trigger. Let's go ahead and uh, get out and check that out. Yep, there's our trigger. It's definitely a French map. Best I can tell. All right. 
pull up the PDA a little bit and just see where we're going. So I guess we will uh, just drive up here to the milk cell point. We do have custom um, field icons on the map. There they are. And this field is 5.32 hectares and $430,000. And that one did have a mission on it. Ahead and uh, zoom on out. Oh, we already zoomed out. Got a ruined castle of some sort. It's the town far off in the distance. It doesn't look like there's maybe a road that goes over there. It's just a uh, backdrop. There's that ruined castle. Right. We've got some trees here that we could cut down if we should so wish. And let's go ahead and swing on around here to the store and the uh, milk cell point. This is not the milk cell point. This is just another little place where you could put stuff. There's kind of a pad here that you could maybe put a. Uh, shed or something there. Alright. Let's see. Milk cell point. In here. Let's go ahead and just get out. And we'll go on in here. Here's the milk cell point. This is where you're going to drop your, uh, bring your trailer, uh, sell your milk. Let's go ahead and just go across here. Here we are to shop. This is the vehicle shop. Have your store icon. Don't want to do that. I wouldn't suggest hitting the store icon or you will be teleported into the building. And here's your repair icon. Nothing really around back. This is probably this is where your vehicles spawn uh, if you're going to pick them up from the shop. And we have a fuel point across the street here, right here. Your Refill point fuel. Let's go ahead and get back in the gator and check out field 10. So field 10 is 2.61 hectares at $211,000. Seems like a pretty standard price uh, for the map or for the field of that size. Let's go ahead and check this out. This is just decoration, but... Nice building. Guess you could put, uh, could store some small equipment in here if you wanted to. Looks like we've got a little bit of a town in here. Let's, uh, kind of drive through the town. I think this is a nice little old, uh, French map. Small fields or smallish fields um, have a nice rustic uh, feel to it. Here we have one of our cell points. Drive over there. There we go. So just uh, let's continue on. This way. Make our way down here through uh, more of the town. We've got coming up to our farms again. 
So over here is our pig and cow farms. And off here to, uh-oh, bell pole, light pole. Over here we've got the sheep um, area and the chickens. And we're going to go ahead and go across the uh, bridge here. Because the BGA is up on the hill. And across the bridge. We pull on up here. Check out the BGA. Well, this isn't really the right way in, but oh well. So here we are at the BGA. We've got... Uh, Got two bunkers over here. Pull up our F1 menu. There's our trigger. There's another trigger. And then we've got our Silo King, which is buried down in the uh, ground here. Roll up here with the wheel loader and dump in. I did not check the uh, XML, see if this will support trailers or not. Then here is your digestate tank. I really like these uh, old rusted up digestate tanks with uh, texture that shows kind of the, the paint peeling off of it, rust marks. I really like those. All right. Let's see here. We've got some cell points to the south we need to get to. Let's go ahead and uh, work our way down there. This little church here. This way. Like I said, I really liked, I think I liked the map. Uh, if I was looking to play a small, um, European style map with small fields and everything. I think this would be uh, probably high on the candidates list. Here we have another cell point. Let's go ahead and drive through here. Rather interesting setup. And we own field 25 here when it has wheat in it. I haven't seen the lavender fields that he's talked about. Oh, look at that uh, big old castle or church or something up there on the uh, up on the hill. Let's go on in here at a. Uh... Oh, here is the soy milk facility. So in here you will bring fuel in here. Bring um, water to here, and you'll bring soybeans to there. Your information board, and what you get out of here is you get pig food out of the pipe, get um, slurry out of there, and you'll be able to pull in out milk from here. So that's the soy milk plant. Got uh, a cell point over here. Dump around back. Yep, here's the dump around back uh, for this particular cell point. Over here, this uh, cell point takes it's the. I thought this was the. Full cell point. This is the hay, straw, and grass cell point. So we're going to bring hay, straw, and grass. Full cell point is probably up here. Yep, oh, this is wood chips. Sorry. We already seen wood chips and some logs. That's going to be your log trigger. 
Here's the lavender field. All right. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get up here to this castle. Maybe that's just off the map. I do want to see where the wool buy point is. Maybe I've already seen it and just have forgotten. Maybe not. While I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and check. It takes wool. The spinnery takes wool. So now where's the spinnery at? Oh, yeah. We've already seen that, haven't we? Yeah. Seen that? Let's check. Okay, we drove through here because there's my tire tracks. I just didn't realize or didn't notice at the time. The wool buy point is right there. Okay. Let's see if we can get up here to this castle. I'm thinking that by the way the PDA looks that it's off the map. I'm not going to be able to explore it or anything. Whoa, yep. It is off the border. Not something we can get to. It is cool up there. So that's it. It's a pretty small map. Uh, not a lot going on. Not really the biggest fields, but uh, that's cool. This is probably the bigger field, biggest field on the map. Um, field 9. Well, it's probably 4. Let's check out field size 9. Field size of 11 and field size of 4. Pretty sure we've already looked at 4. 3.45 hectares at 9. Across the street. 11. 11 is 4.72 hectares and field 4 is 5.32. So field 4 is the biggest field on the map. So that is Providence Profond. Uh, it is over at ModHoster.com. Uh, leave me a link, or not a link, but leave me uh, some comments in the description to our... <laughs> leave me some comments below, in the comments area, as to what you think of the map uh, in general. Uh, so until next time, guys, happy farming.